Hi, my name is Sarah. And I'm Avery. We're, we're identical, identical twins, twins from, from Atlanta. Atlanta. Please like and subscribe. When we were born, we were called the cutest babies in town. Everyone freaked out over our beautiful blonde hair and blue eyes. They called us angel babies. Mom signed us up to be baby models, and we were super popular. By the time we were three, we were on every ad possible for baby products. From diapers to fashion, we were everywhere. And I loved the limelight. It's like I was made to be a star. I enjoyed school and wanted to be a powerful lawyer one day. So studying and getting good grades was really important to me. One morning when we were in fifth grade, we started our routine with mom. Suddenly, Sarah screamed. My face, it's burning. Mom, help. Hold still, I think you have an allergic reaction. Mom quickly wiped Sarah's face as I watched in horror. By the time her face was clean, something horrible had happened. The reaction had covered Sarah's face in angry red marks. Oh my God, what is this? I'm disgusting. No, Sarah, it's gonna be fine. We'll get you fixed up in no time, I promise. Later at the hospital, the doctors gave us some bad news. Sarah's face was scarred from the reaction and there was no cure. When mom heard this, she nearly fainted and Sarah was mad at me. You lied, Avery. You promised I'll be fine, but I'm a monster. From that day on, my life changed forever. Mom made me wear a pound of makeup to cover my scars. I wasn't allowed to be seen without it. The whole thing broke my heart and I didn't understand why this had happened to me. In eighth grade, we met Julia and Emma. They had just moved to town and were also identical twins. They were pure evil. What's worse is everyone compared us. Look at the new girls. They're so cute. I love how they always match. They're giving Sarah and Avery a run for their money. Emma and Julia were our complete opposites and had red hair and green eyes. I couldn't stand them. Our rivalry began when they started working at our modeling agency. They were stealing our jobs. I can't believe those witches are getting more work than us. We have to crush them like the bugs they are. It's not a competition, Sarah. Why are you being so crazy? Of course it's a competition, and we're losing. And either you're with me or you're against me. Choose. Of course, I'd always put Sarah first, but sometimes she took things too far. One morning in the cafeteria, the witch twins walked up to us and smirked. Aw, if it isn't the shy one and the ugly one. Why so sad? Suddenly, I'm not hungry anymore. Don't you have something better to do? Like shop for the same clothes? Nice one. At least we own our twinness. You guys are so boring and it's so plain. Oh no, I'm tripping. I'm so sorry. It was an accident. Sarah left giggling and I was shocked. I jumped up with some tissues for Julia, but she pushed me away. I'm just trying to help. I have a spare shirt if you want. Don't touch me, witch. Just wait till this weekend's modeling competition. That grand prize is ours. We're going to end you. You've been warned. That whole talking together thing is so creepy. We'll definitely be there, so bring it on. I didn't agree with Sarah's methods, but those girls got on my last nerve. They'd been nothing but rude since they showed up. The next day, mom surprised us with a dozen designer dresses for the competition. OMG, mom, we're gonna look so good. Can we afford this? They're so expensive. Don't worry, honey, we'll return them after. You'll just have to be extra careful not to ruin them, okay? I don't know about this. Come on, don't be a wet blanket. We need to win this. We'll show those wannabes who really owns this twin business. Later that night, Sarah came to me. Ave, I have a plan to beat them once and for all. What do you mean, Sarah? Just a harmless prank, of course, but enough to take them out of the competition. You're talking about cheating. We can't do that. Besides, I don't wanna win like that. Is this really so important to you that you cheat and win? Yes, it is. You have no idea how hard my life is always hiding what I really look like and afraid someone will find out. But still, modeling is the only thing I'm good at and passionate about. So yeah, I'm willing to do what it takes. No one is perfect, Sarah. Everyone is insecure about something. All models use makeup and whatnot to look better. And your condition, it's not as bad as you think. It's in your head. 
easy for you to say. Are you with me or not? I am, but we will win this the right way. Every night after rehearsal, I snuck away to study. I was interested in a huge internship in Washington at a law firm, except I hadn't told mom or Sarah yet. I was scared they'd be angry with me. On the day of the competition, we aced the first rounds. Our dresses were the talk of the circuit, and people loved our routine. But when we went on earlier for round two, Sarah grew pale. We can't go on yet. It's not our turn. You look perfect, honey. Don't worry. Our routine went well at first, but just then, a bucket dropped from the ceiling and we were covered in sour yogurt. What is that? OMG, ew. The prank I'd set up for the twins backfired on us. If anyone finds out, I was dead. I had to think quickly, so when we went back to our dressing room, I knew what I had to do. It was them. I know they did this. We have to tell the judges. You mean the twins? They sabotaged us? Just then, the twins walked into our dressing room smiling. That was quite a show. Looks like other people hate you just as much as us. How delicious. Don't try and shift the blame. I know you were behind this. Suddenly, Sarah attacked Emma and then Julia jumped in too. Get off me, psycho. We had nothing to do with this. Yeah, let go. You've, You've gone, gone mad. mad. As I pulled Sarah away, Julia pulled at her dress and it ripped. Just then, mom rushed in and when she saw the dresses, she screamed. I told mom it was the twins, but they refused to admit it. So the agency launched an investigation. But I was shocked to see Sarah rigging up the buckets of yogurt. We were disqualified instantly and the twins won. You did this? I can't believe it. At least I'm trying. You're the bad team player here. Do I have to do everything myself? Listen to yourself. All you care about is winning and it's just hurting us. You've ruined everything. Those expensive dresses and her reputation? I won't be part of this madness, Sarah. As if you could do it without me anyway. You need me and you know it. Not anymore. I'm done. I never wanted this. After that, we were basically broke. Sarah had to take every single job she could get to make more money, and I began waiting tables at the local coffee shop. A week before our 16th birthday, mom came to us with some big news. I may have just solved all of our money problems. Girls, pack your bags. We're moving to Japan. What? A huge modeling agency loved our look and wanted us to move there to represent their brand. They'd pay for everything and even move us into a huge penthouse apartment for free. OMG, this is the best news ever. I couldn't let this go on any longer. I wanted to follow my dreams and participate in that internship. The deadline was just around the corner, so I had to tell them. I, I can't move to Japan. Why, Avery? Confused, they stared at me and I finally explained my plans for my future. Are you kidding me? I can't believe you're being so selfish. How am I being selfish? I never asked for any of this. All you've ever done is complain. Look at me, I'm the freak here, but I get up every day and I work. You've never taken this seriously and now you just wanna bail on us? Me, complain? You're the one who can't stop competing with Emma and Julia. You're so insecure that you've let this stupid rivalry turn you into a witch. I regretted my words as soon as I said them, but I was so mad I couldn't take them back. I stormed off to my room and slammed the door shut. Sarah didn't talk to me for a whole week after that. What's worse is, they were going ahead with the move as if nothing I did mattered. One morning, I got a letter delivered, and it was from the internship. I was just about to open it when someone knocked on my door. Mom came in and eyed the letter. Is that it? Yeah. I'm not happy about this. You're not even 16 yet, until tomorrow. And honey, we can't afford this. I guess I just wanted to know if I could do it, Mom. I'm a straight-A student. Did you even know that? Mom looked at me sadly. I guess I've been so wrapped up in your careers. I've never really thought about what you wanted. I want to make a difference in the world not just look good. Open the letter, Avery. Mom and I hugged and we opened the letter together. Congratulations, you've been accepted. What was I gonna do now? The next day at school, I decided to look for Sarah so we could make up. It was our birthday after all. 
When I finally found her in the playground, I was shocked to see her with Emma and Julia. Well, if it isn't the traitor twin, what do you want? Uh, Sarah, can we talk for a sec, alone? Anything you say to me, you can say in front of my best friends, Ave. What? Don't look so surprised. The enemy of my enemy is my friend, right? Right. right. Did you hit your head or something? Come on, we're sisters, twins. Don't be like this. You did this to us. You've made your bed, so, so sleep in it. To think, I was about to give up my dream for Sarah, and she treats me like this? No chance anymore. The following week, Mom and I packed our bags and headed for Japan, while Avery went to stay with our aunt in Washington. Good riddance. The next few years in Japan were amazing. The company wasn't happy that it was just me, but I was determined to make them see my worth. So I worked hard, and by the time I was 18, I was pretty famous. I actually missed Avery a lot, but I could never bring myself to call her. I needed to work on myself first. Moving to Washington was the best decision of my life. I was my own person for the first time in my life. I loved living in my aunt's house, and the internship was amazing. They even offered me a summer job with them after I finished. I worked as an assistant for three years until I graduated college. Soon after, my boss offered me a full-time job with my very first case. A huge client was suing a skincare brand, and when I saw the name, I was shocked. It was the same company that caused my sister's scars. It turned out they were using sketchy chemicals and hundreds of people were hurt. I made it my mission to take them down. And when we finally won the case, I called Sarah. I told her everything, and I was surprised that she seemed happy to hear from me. We decided to meet at a cafe, and when I saw Sarah, my heart nearly exploded. I'd forgotten how much I'd missed her. That's such an insane story. Thank you so much for doing this. The company will pay damages to every client that got hurt. I made sure of it. Ave, I have to apologize. I know we were just kids, but I was so insecure and selfish. Can you forgive me? Of course I can. I'm sorry too, but in a way, I'm glad it happened. I needed to find myself outside of us. You know, I do, really. But no matter what, you'll always be my other half. Same here.